Do you push your comfort zone every single day or do you stagnate? Do you find there's times in your life where things flatline or your income flatlines or your relationships flatline or what happens after that if we're not consistently growing is decline. And so you have to realize maximum growth occurs on the border of support and challenge. And so you have this comfort bubble and if you're constantly living inside of this, you're not evolving as a human being. And for tens of thousands of years, that which does not evolve dies off. And so I know that you, you know, this takes quite some time to play out, but you don't want your family genealogy, yourself, your mission. You don't want these things to stagnate and die out. But yet we see the vast majority of people go to their graves taking their very best gifts, their best ideas, all of their best intentions because they were too afraid to take action with some falsely perceived notion that I'm going to be hurt, I'm going to have pain outside of this comfort bubble. And what that comes from is way back in the day, you know, we used to have to hunt to find our food, right? And so when there was a bush that would shake in front of us, that was either dinner for the family, we would go to grab it, which would build up our dopamine, or, and we would survive, right? Or it would be a lion in the bush and we were the lion's dinner. And when that would happen, those genetics would die off over time. And so we became wired, all of humanity, to do more to avoid pain than gain pleasure. Because those that were not wired like that they all died off. They all got eaten by all the lions and all the bushes. We live in an extremely safe world. And unless you're somewhere, we have never ever been in a more safe world than what we have right now. The only exception, if you're in a country at massive war and civil war and crazy things happening, but that has always happened throughout different countries of human history. And it's always a tiny fraction unless you're talking World War II and World War I and Vietnam and gigantic. So what I'm going with all this, I want to encourage you to consider where is your comfort zone and what is something you can do right here in the next 24 hours, even in the next 24 minutes, 24 seconds, as you're getting off of this video, what can you do to expand your comfort zone? What can you do to make yourself a little bit more uncomfortable? I will give you an example, me doing this very video with you and for you right now. My voice is shot. I've been working all day. I had a super intense indoor soccer game. I've been hanging out with my kids and I am exhausted. I am actually usually in bed within the next 20 minutes or less. And so instead of winding down and I still have to eat an entire meal, so I'm late, I'm behind an entire meal today. And I share all this just to say, I am way, like I'm stressed out and I just want to go relax and calm down my nervous system. What I really want to do is go jump in my jacuzzi hot tub, but I also need to wait for my food to, for, to arrive. I have some incredible sushi coming. But I share all this to say, this is me demonstrating and showing you walking by example. I had every excuse in the world, including I have to keep swallowing because my throat is wrecked from talking so much over the past day or two. But yet that isn't stopping me because I've committed myself more often than not, create three incredible pieces of content per day. And so I did Facebook Live yesterday, I did, I've done all kinds of stuff. I've been a little slacking over here if, if you're here on TikTok or if you're seeing this on Facebook or on YouTube, you may have seen videos drop off. You, this one I'm experimenting, I'm doing it a little longer than the little one minute where I have to talk super fast like the Micro Machine Man and cram all this stuff into a one minute video. And so I wanted to share something with a little more value for you and share some of the wisdom I've picked up along the ages, along my journey, the ages being the last 18 years online and the 48 years I've been on the planet. And so one of the greatest ways I've learned to share this with you and with anybody, maximum growth occurs on the border of support 
and challenge. So if we have this comfort bubble, everything inside of it is support. Everything outside of it is perceived as challenge. So what you want to do, see, we're not going to do something to go way, way, way outside our comfort zone because we will perceive that or our unconscious mind will perceive that as death. And because of that, we literally will sabotage. We just won't do it. And so if you're stretching too big of a goal that your mind and your like your whole being cannot wrap itself around, like if you've never made more than 50000 a year for the last five or 10 years and you set a target, I'm going to make a million dollars this year. It is extremely hard unless you've done some really deep NLP, some really deep visualization, some manifestation, seeing, hearing, feeling these things into being. And you can do this, but almost nobody does the work to make that real in their brain because you will make it real internally before it appears out here and is fully manifested. You create the world that you live in. And you create it by your thoughts, excuse me, your perceptions, your decisions, your actions, your thoughts as well. But that's what perceptions, decisions, and actions are. And so you create this and the way to create the world that you really want, all of it is outside your comfort zone. Because the things that got you to where you are right now, that is your perceptions, your decisions, your actions that you've taken over the past week, yesterday, today, the last month, the last quarter, the last year, the last decade. Your life today is a result of all of those perceptions, decisions, and actions. And a lot of people don't want to hear this, but that is the truth. And when you're willing and bold enough and courageous enough to take 100% radical responsibility for everything that's appearing in your life, all of those things that have led up till now, and you take responsibility for those, it's completely empowering. And the reason is because now we realize, holy crap, what happens in an hour from now, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, the next decade, this is all, I have chills telling you this. I have inspired chills running up my ne neck and my hand, the hair in my head is standing on its end. If I had a short sleeve shirt, I'd show you the arm, my arm hair standing up on its ends, sharing with you, this is incredible because because I chose to have a perception of maybe I should just do it tonight, a video tonight anyway, even though I'm tired, and then make a decision that I'm going to do it and then take the action to actually turn this on. What this is, is creating my entire future and manifesting what I have set into the targets and the outcomes and the goals of what I am building for myself, my loved ones, for you, for all of humanity. And to ripple out from there and impact. See, as you step into even more of your top values and your traits and you start living more of your life of fulfillment and the life that you're building towards instead of living in things in the past and not taking responsibility for what your life is today. When you do all of this, you get to impact people that would never listen to me. You get to have an impact on someone that maybe you're the last resort for them and maybe they're on the verge of death, of suicide. Maybe they just lost a loved one. Maybe they're in financial ruin. Maybe they just filed bankruptcy. I've coached people through every single one of those and the nightmares you couldn't even believe if I were to tell you. And you may be the very last hope for someone simply by having the courageousness to turn on the video or to, to hold the door for the stranger or to go eat the broccoli or whatever you've been avoiding that you know puts health in or to go make the investment into yourself, your business, like go invest into yourself <clears throat> to push the comfort zone, to go ask for the relationship, to go ask for the raise, whatever it is to go have the hard conversation with the loved one or with anybody, whatever these things are, that is what pushes you on the border of support and challenge. And that's how you grow. That's how you evolve. And that's how when you're looking back at the end of your life on the rest of your life, that's how you don't have regrets because you pushed your comfort zone consistently over all that time. Huge love.